When I fished my first alpine lake in the summer of 2020, I knew it was special. It was an experience that was entirely unlike anything I had ever done before and quickly became one of my favorite adventures to go on. The difficulty of the hikes, the panoramic views, and the uniqueness of the experience was mind-blowing. It was like an entire new world of trout fishing had opened up to me. But out of all of the alpine lakes my brother and I have visited, this one trumps all of them. When I say this was the most incredible alpine lake experience I have ever had, I'm not joking. What you're about to watch is a memory that my brother and I will never forget. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. I'm here with Andrew, AKA Hardman Fishing Adventures Western Edition. And today we are already about a little over a mile and a half, maybe close to two miles into a hike. And we just came to quite possibly the steepest incline I've ever seen in my life. And the trail zigzags back and forth. <clears throat> I mean, like I have to look straight up. I don't even know exact i mean this is just going to be horrible to get up but i think this is the last big incline before we actually get to the lake that we're trying to get to today which we're hoping we'll have some really really big cutthroat trout at least as thought so i'm gonna shut up and attempt to make it up this sheer cliff face here and not die and tumble down to the bottom of this horrible slope so stay tuned and hopefully we'll get on some big cutthroat for you guys when we crested the last hill and looked out over the lake, our jaws hit the ground. But not just because of the towering mountain peaks in the background or from the crystal clear blue water washing onto the shore, but because we immediately saw dozens of cutthroat trout cruising off the edge of a shelf. And these weren't just any cutthroat, these were big cutthroat. We did not witness a single fish under 16 inches swim by as we tied on our flies, with the biggest fish hovering around 20 inches. After getting geared up, we immediately started catching fish. Now I am. All right guys, I just hooked up with my first cutthroat. I was recording, but I stopped briefly. It's a nice one. It's not super huge. I didn't even see it, I just cast it and he came out and smacked it. I'm using really light tippets, so I don't want to force it too much, boys. Andrew will come with the net, I guess. I know he's not a very big one. I mean, that's big. I mean, relative to what I've seen. That's the smallest one I've seen. That's what I mean. Dude, God, dude, it. these things fight, don't they? Like rainbows. And the one find that just swirled on it was like a perfectly like, red one too. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's a big one right there. Right there, he's going swimming away. Can you, can, can, where's the net at? Well, if this one had starts flashing, you might have had it. I don't know. I didn't see it when you saw the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's probably still there. He's right here. Is that him? Yeah, yeah. See? Straight around pointing. I got him recording. Go a little further, I think. On there now? No? Is that mine? Yep. yep. <laughs> Doubles, baby. <laughs> I, I, really, I didn't think I was in my drop all even. <laughs> Let's go. This is so sick, man. I'll get you on to unhook real quick. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh my gosh, I don't want to break. I'm not forgetting the line already. Oh, 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 there we go. That is a pair of cutthroat right there, son. You're, look at yours. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. 
Eat it. You dog, dude. Got him. Nice one, yeah. There's like one of like 17. Look how clear this water is. This is insane, dude. There's some big ones, but they're tough. Whoa, 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 whoa. None of them are small though. There's some that are bright orange that I want to catch here. I think if I put on an oh, infant. There's a couple bright orange right over there. That, uh, not a couple times. You ready? He's going to lift his head kind of. Yes, sir. What a beautiful fish, man. Look at the pink. Good? Yeah. Got one. Yep. Stuck on 20 pounds of weeds. Uh, might need some help. These weeds, son. What? Yeah, it's like the same size you caught. Let's go put it there in case. Let's see what he does to mine. I got a nymph down there too. I can't see my nymph though, so. He's looking at me now. He's like, hmm. I don't see the note, so. How did he not? How did he not get hooked? <laughs> That's funny, dude. After catching a handful of nice fish, we thought we had it dialed in, but we were wrong. We went through a stage in the day where all we did was get denied over. Oh, look at it, denied it. And over. Oh my gosh. He's gonna deny it, don't worry. He didn't even look. I don't know if he's actually looking at it or not. And over again. And then when a big fish finally oh. ate.
He broke me. I choked the hook set like an amateur. But after an hour or two of fooling around without any fish to show for it, our day uh -huh. took a turn for the better. What you're about to watch is some of the most insane fishing we've ever encountered. <laughs> Look how many fish are just swimming around, dude. Are you not going to Moss again? Oh my gosh, it's eating the dry. No, I mean, it's about eight mile dry. If I had one tied on, we'd probably bubble out. Uh. Uh. All right, brother. I don't have the net. Oh my gosh, it's going to break. Not the weeds. That's a thick one, dude. Huh? That's a thick one. Thick one. Watch this one with the dry flies coming out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait. Oh, he's just sipping like crazy. Look at I'm gonna cast behind him because there's a, a big one behind him. Oh, it's big. Oh my gosh. I don't, well, I can't cast that shallow. There's, there, there's a few crews in your way. There's too many though, I want that bigger one. But there's like four sitting right beside it. He just spook? Look at that one further out, that bigger one, is that the one you're trying to That's the one I'm trying to get to. Dang it, son. No, it's not the big one. The big one tried to get after it, but three of them came instead. Hurry up and cast at it. It's coming through you. It's right there in front of you. Uh, there's a the big one coming at you. Try casting again at him. Is that the big one? Dude, that's so, dude. The big one was trying to eat it, but three of them came and this one ate it first. There we go. Oh, he's gone. He ignored the nymph completely. Maybe they want your nymph. Oh shoot, there's another one. That's when I was looking at it. I need to go a little further out. I didn't see it. This one right here with me is huge. I'm hanging in my nymph, that's for sure. Look at all of them sitting there now. Look at all of them around my... <laughs> Oh, 
denied it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what? Did you see that? Did you see that? That one ate the dry, I pulled back on it, and this thing started fighting on the bottom. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. That was so sick. <laughs> that was so cool, man. Holy cow. Finally, something went to eat. No, just... Yeah, he does have some stripes on him. I'm trying not to. I know he's got he's on seven X. That was cool. Finally one that just comes up and smashes it. That's what they should be doing all day. Gosh, I need to lighten this drag up. Sweet, dude. That was a good spot, good catch. Everything about that's perfect. He does have some spots. He's got like stripes on him, bars, yeah. It's a unique colored fish. As we were about to leave the lake, I took one last look. And for a rare moment in time, I reflected on how incredibly lucky I was to be there and how incredible this lake truly was. This may seem ridiculous, but I get so caught up in fishing that I usually make these realization days or even weeks later when I'm back home. So I begged Andrew to swing around the inlet where we had seen some particularly big and wildly colorful fish cruising around to take one last shot at them. I retied on with 7X Tippet, searched the fly box for the smallest nymph I could find, and started casting. with that size 22 nymph and the fish I've been looking for. Fish? It's one of them. What are the odds it stays hooked? Zero? It's gotta be zero. He's going for a run of his lifetime. Are you recording? I think so, but I can't check. I don't like those rocks, dude. I think that was that darker one though. I think you're right too. Oh gosh! Why is he doing this? Yes, I'm recording. Please, dude. You ready? You may not be ready. That's all I wanted is a red one. Maybe, but I don't know why. That one just feels more like a win to me because I was really trying to catch one of those and then I did it. <sighs> Golly, mad boys. All right, guys, so this is the last fish of the day. It took me a while, but I really wanted to catch like a really colored up fish. 
probably gonna cut one similar to this today, but I'm just gonna hold this up for you guys. He's playing 18 incher, but I mean, he's a perfect, he wants me to hold him up, that is. He's like a perfect fish. So, chill. Chill. Look at that. Chill, buddy. So. Face it towards me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy to catch a fish like that, man. So. Oh my gosh. Okay, you wanna get a release on? Alright guys, this is my last fish John just caught that fish and I decided to make one more cast and I think it was like the first cast. This guy came out, eat it. Beautiful male. Oh my gosh. That is such a sick shot right there. Wow. That's awesome. Alright, we're gonna get him released and we're gonna start hiking out of here. Hopefully not fall over a cliff. All right guys, well, we are literally catching too many fish to count, but we're gonna get out of here. Um, just because we got a long hike out of here and we're tired. And once again, the elevation is starting to set in. I mean, both me and Andrew are like, man, our heads are like throbbing. And yeah, I mean, we've caught enough fish today that we can't really complain. And we've caught some really good ones. I mean, several like 18-ish inch fish. Andrew, that one red fish just ate right on the bank here too. He's probably gonna catch another fish while I'm talking to you guys, but yeah, um, this was probably one of the best days of brook trout fishing. Oh, he just missed one. It's probably one of the best days of brook trout fishing I've had at a high alpine lake as far as size and color of fish and just how like unbelievable it is up here. So kind of a true, uh, a true gem of an alpine lake in my opinion, but we are going to kind of get ready and get the heck out of here and yeah start the treacherous hike down the mountain.